headed to the store because we gotta go pick up some ingredients for this giant pop tart that we're about to make. You're like a big ass truck. Why are you copying my style? You are winning. That's because you're lighter than me. I don't have red sprinkles, so the rainbow sprinkles is gonna have to do. What's up guys? Welcome to the video. What if I actually unsubscribe? What's up guys? Welcome to the video. Today is going to be another do-it-yourself video and today we're going to be creating a giant Pop-Tart. It's been seen on the YouTubes quite a few times, but I have not yet seen a peanut butter jelly giant Pop-Tart. So after reviewing a bunch of the videos today, we're going to make it a very simple way of cooking. Instead of making the crust from scratch, we are going we're gonna go ahead and use some of this already Pillsbury pie crust. We have Winn-Dixie version and we have Pillsbury, but I don't think it really matters. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and make a giant pop tart. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go ahead and lay. That was actually cool. Lay it like that. We're gonna lay out the pie crust for the foundation. It should be pretty simple. Now I got four of them because yeah. I was gonna make a giant pop tart. Oh, I'm just supposed to get more. No. Ah, oh, this is gonna be too small. It's it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Oh man, this isn't even big at all. I thought these things were gonna be huge. Um, I wanted it to be actually four of these like that. Or I could, hmm, thinking about it. So we're back from the store and I didn't wanna be cheated with making a mini giant Pop-Tart. I wanted to make a full-blown giant Pop-Tart. That's what we're doing. So continuing where we left off, we have our first laid out. Gonna put our third. And last but not least. So we're gonna go ahead and take this roller. We're gonna use this placemat to cut the edges. Oh, this is actually working perfect. Worked out perfect. So we're gonna set this one aside. Public's brand is a little different. Oh my gosh, it's kind of broken. So this is what I'm dealing with, with the Publix brand. The Publix brand is actually cracked up. I'm having some technical difficulties. We're gonna be careful with this one. Oh, uh, it's already starting to crack. So we managed to kind of fill up the holes. We just kind of had to press it back together. I think we're gonna have issues. You see how it's cracked like that? Use some water to make it stick together. Two hours later. We're gonna put this to the side and worry about this later. And we're gonna go ahead and use this to put the filling in. Peanut butter of choice today is gonna to be Skippy and we're gonna put them in rows along the Pop-Tart crust. We're gonna start with peanut butter. And for the jelly, we are using strawberry smuckers spread and we're using the squeeze bowl just to make it a little easier. So here's the base of our pop tart and it looks awesome. The tough part is going to be trying to get that thing on this uh, without breaking into pieces. I think we got this. It looks a lot better than it was earlier. We're gonna try to flip this. This is gonna be really tough to do. Should I help you though? Yeah, you're probably gonna have to help me. So I want you to grab this side. Yeah. This side, and you're gonna flip this side, yeah? One, two, three, go. All right, so the flip did not work. We're gonna try to... I'm gonna try to just cut pieces up here and just lay it right over there. Yeah, you can use this. We're just going to like kind of like piece it together. Yo, we got a deformed Pop-Tart. We're gonna see if it turns out like a Pop-Tart. Now we have to kind of press all around it. So I'm gonna use a fork. That looks actually legit. And we did it. Somehow we came out with a deformed looking Pop-Tart. The next step is to poke holes on the top of it even though there's probably a bunch of holes right here. You don't wanna go too deep and put a hole all the way through the Pop-Tart. That looks so legit. I'm so excited for this. We have ourselves a Pop-Tart. We're gonna put this in the oven for about 20 minutes and hopefully it doesn't get destroyed. Good luck, little Pop-Tart. Please come out awesome. So while the Pop-Tart is baking, we're gonna go ahead and make the frosting. I chose to use maple syrup and then powdered sugar. Some of this, I think that should be enough. So I think we're good right here. We have a nice thick frosting. Okay. 
we gotta add the frosting and then we gotta add some sprinkles on top of it yeah this actually came out very thick do this right on top of it all over it probably could have used just a little bit more sprinkles right on top of this. If you guys have ever had the peanut butter jelly pop tart, it doesn't have rainbow sprinkles. It actually has red sprinkles. This is going to have to work. I think it looks awesome though. It looks like a giant pop tart. It was a nightmare in the beginning. I think this is a success. And now the last part of it is to taste it. And I'm thinking that's going to taste good. And it's finally time for the best part of the video to cut this pop tart open and eat it. I cannot wait to try this. Did you wanna try this? We're gonna let Livia try some of this too. And Livia, I'll let you get the first bite. Do you taste it? You taste peanut butter, huh? Mm -hmm. There's filling right there. I think it's more filling towards the middle part. What do you think? It's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Olivia gives me a big thumbs up. She said it's good. And it's we're gonna really start good. this in three, two, one. It's really good, you said? So all we're tasting is peanut butter right here. I didn't get enough uh, jelly in that bite, but the crust is really good. It's kind of, it's really crispy, it's flaky. This part tastes really good. I can get a mixture of peanut butter and jelly. You want a better piece? Sure. Take this big piece. I feel stingy if I just eat this whole thing by myself and you're sitting here watching. Thank you. Mm. Yo, this is like two regular sized Pop-Tarts. I think I might have the biggest Pop-Tart. Ah, oh, it's good, it's thick. Mm. That center part was so dense. It was like a really peanut buttery, jelly, doughy. Sugary. Very sugary. Thank you. All right, back to, back to the, back to the Pop-Tart. Mm. We're almost done with the Pop-Tart. I don't think I'll have a Pop-Tart for very, I don't even eat pop tarts that often. I got so much pop tart stuck in my teeth. It's hard for me to even talk right now. So we're almost done. Last piece. I want to get it done in 60 minutes. I got this. beat 60 minutes. So we finished the Pop-Tart in 15 minutes and 25 seconds. And if I'm honest, the outsides of the Pop-Tart were really good. The inside of the Pop-Tart, uh, the bottom of the dough wasn't cooked thoroughly. There was still a little some soft parts, so those parts weren't that tasty. But I wasn't gonna let that stop me from eating the whole Pop-Tart. But I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. And if you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. As always, you guys are awesome. Hit that like button for me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, bye. To build a giant Pop-Tart. I saw a few do-it-yourself videos and I've always wanted to, okay?